In this presentation, we will record the journal entry related to a note payable related to taking out a new loan from the bank. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course. Each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. Here's gonna be our terms. We're gonna record that here in our general journal and then we'll post that to our worksheet. The trial balance is in order. Assets, liabilities, equity, income, and expenses. We have the debits being non-bracketed or positive and the credits being bracketed or negative. Debits minus the credits equaling zero. Net income currently at 700,000. Income not a loss. Revenue minus expenses. The difficult thing in terms of a book problem when we record the loan is typically that we have too much information. This is the difficult thing in practice as well. So once we have the terms of the loan and we have the information, we've already taken the loan out, then it's the question of, well, how are we gonna record this thing? How are we gonna put it on the books? And if we have this information here, if we have a loan for 100,000, the interest is 9%, and then uh, the number of, of payments that we're gonna have, we're gonna pay back are 36, then how do we record this on the books? Well, first we know that we can ask our question, is cash affected? We're going to say, yeah, because we got a loan for 100000 That's why we got the loan. So cash is a debit balance. It's going to go up with a debit. So we'll increase the cash. And then the other side of it is going to be something we owe back in the future. And that's going to be note payable. And that's as easy as it is to, to record the initial loan. The problem with this, the thing that's difficult in practice and in a book question, is that we're often given, of course, the other information, like the interest and the number of payments, and possibly more information that can cloudy up the what we're, what we're doing. And, and the, the reason these are needed is so that we can calculate interest in the future, but they're not really, we don't even need that information to record the initial loan. All we need to know is that we got cash and we owe it back in the future. And you might be asking, well, what about the interest? We owe interest in the future as well. And we do, but we don't owe it yet. And that, that's the confusing thing. Interest, although we, we will pay interest and we know exactly how much interest we're going to pay in the future, we don't owe it yet. Why don't we owe it yet? Because we're going to pay back more than 100000 Why don't we? Why don't we record something greater than 100000 you might say? Uh, because we know we're going to pay more than 100000 And that's because the, the interest is something that it's like rent. So we're paying rent on the use of this 100000 And just like if we, if we had a building that we rented that we're using for office space, we're not, even though we know we're going to pay rent in the future, we're not going to record the rent now because it, we haven't incurred it until we use the building. So the same thing's happening here. We know we're going to pay interest in the future. We know, we know we're going to pay more than 100000 but... Uh, it hasn't happened yet. We haven't used up, we haven't gotten the use out of this 100000 and therefore uh, haven't incurred the expense of it yet. So the interest then is something we need to negotiate when making the term of the loan. But once the loan has been made and we're just trying to record it, it's not going to be in the initial recording. It will be there when we calculate the payments and the, and the amortization table. So the initial recording is pretty straightforward. We're just going to say, okay, cash is going to go up by the 100000 and then the notes payable is going to go up from zero in the credit direction to 100000 So what we have here is the cash increasing, the liability increasing. Although we got cash, there's no effect on net income because we haven't incurred any expenses. We're going to use that cash most likely to pay for expenses possibly or pay for other assets or pay off liabilities in order to help us to generate revenue in the future. But as of now, we've gotten, we've, we increased an asset and we increased the liability. Thank you.